Hey guys, so I'm going to show you um, different steps that I took to make um, Fathead Pizza. Uh, this is the very first time I'm making it and um, so I show you kind of like what steps I took to make the pizza. It was amazing and yeah, so you'll just have to wait and see and I will include the recipe at the end of the, the recipe that I use but you basically can use whatever toppings you want the ones I show you are just the ones I chose so um it was amazing and yeah it was low carb so that's what I love um, I'm really getting into, into this low carb way of eating so I really like it and it makes me not feel like shit. So anyway, in um, here I have one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese and two tablespoons of cream cheese. And now I'm gonna stick it in the microwave for one minute and then stir it. So this is one minute and so now I am stirring it. I'm gonna stir it really good and I'm gonna put it in for another 30 seconds and then I will come back and show you what it looks like show the and here show this so here it is after a minute and a half can you see it huh okay so um i have to add one egg and three quarters of cup of almond flour here's the almond flour three quarters of a cup you see that um i'm gonna put the flour first because if i put the egg i'm afraid it's gonna start cooking the egg so put the flour first And then I have my egg here. And then basically you just stir it. Get it mixed really, really good. So I'll get it mixed really good and then I'll come back and show you the next part. Ready? Okay, so here it is right here. So here's my parchment paper and I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna kinda get my hands wet a little bit because it helps spread it out. And yeah, just work it, get it thin. And um just gonna keep doing this till it gets to where I want it and then I'll come back before I put it in the oven okay so I got it all you know so now I'm just gonna poke some holes in it kind of all over and then I'm gonna stick it in a 425 oven for 10 minutes and then I will be back when it is done all right bye so it's looking really good and I'm going to put bacon on it and then I grilled some veggies and then I have pepperoni. What else do we put on it? That's it? And olives. Oh, and olives. So yeah, we just have to watch it. So if there's any big bubbles, we have to poke the bubbles, but it's looking good. I'm so excited. It was so easy to make the dough, like super okay, easy. Okay, so here I um, had the pizza crust in there for 10 minutes in the oven at 425. And now um, it's very hot, so you gotta be careful. But this is what it looks like. Um, I went through and I poked holes as needed when it bubbled up. And yeah, that's what it looks like. It smells amazing. So now I'm gonna put on my toppings. I have, oh, do you have the pepperoni? Um, so this is the kind of pizza sauce I'm using. I got it at Winco and, um, this one has, I looked and this is the one that I found the least amount of carbs. This is only three net carbs. Some of the other ones had like 10 net or nine net carbs and a lot of sugar. So this is three net carbs and three grams of sugar per serving. So anyway. I'm gonna spread that on the pizza. I have pepperoni, bacon, I'm gonna put a few olives. I have some grilled veggies here and my mozzarella cheese. So I will be back. Okay, so on here I put pepperoni, 
And I put bacon, put some veggies, and I put um, olives, black olives. So now I'm gonna put the cheese. Okay, so here's the pizza. I put cheese on top of it, and it's gonna get ready to go back in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes when everything is like melted and golden brown and yeah. So I will be back when that happens. It cut pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So I finished with the pizza, and um, I'm sitting down now to eat it. And this is what it looks like. I'll lift. I'll lift up a piece so that you can see. Um, it looks like that. There's all my toppings. And yeah, so I will figure out the um, calories and carbs. Uh, I'll figure out the nutrition. Basically, the crust has, for the whole crust, it has four net carbs, um, which is really awesome because I was looking at, there was a place that we would go um, sometimes and I looked and for just one piece of pizza, it's like 30 carbs, 30 net carbs. For one piece and this one for the whole pizza four carbs so this was really really easy to make um it wasn't like super time consuming and yeah so um i'm actually gonna try a piece so anyway like i said it's the crust there's um sauce on there there's pepperoni there's veggies, grilled veggies. There is olives and cheese. So, yeah. So, anyway, here I have it with a fork. I always eat pizza with a fork. I know I'm weird, but I do. So, anyway. It's good. Um, it's really, really good. Like, really good. So... The crust is amazing. Like, it's amazing. I know. That's my word. But it really is good. How do you like it, babe? Chris likes it too. So, my son won't eat it because he doesn't like veggies, uh, onions, and peppers. But, yeah. Um, you know prep was maybe 15 minutes um to cut everything up grill um you know 10 minutes to make the crust another 12 minutes to um you know melt the cheese and all that stuff so overall it was an easy recipe i will definitely make it again um next time i might do like a um, try to find a barbecue sauce that I can use and some chicken and maybe make a barbecue chicken one um, there's so many possibilities so I really like this I never had tried it before but it was really easy so yeah I like it a lot so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed and um, let me know if you have made this before if you like it if you're gonna try it um, yeah, so you can find videos. You can go to Pinterest. There's all kinds of recipes. Um, just look up Fathead Pizza, you know. So very simple, and I'm really glad that I did this because both me and Chris really like it. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a good night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.